Sibling has its own pros and cons. However, personally speaking, uh, pros of sibling outweighs the cons. Uh, but it may also depend on your country uh, where you reside. But in general, sibling years will never run out of job or scope. So let's see what are the pros of sibling engineering. One thing is it will always be in very high demand. As long as human exists, they will need house, roads, and other building structures. And civil engineers are always going to be responsible for that. And besides that, they also create dams to cater the need of energy. So see, there are a lot of things that civil engineers are responsible to create. And as long as there is demand of such things, civil engineers are going to be there. Next is the work of civil engineer is seldom routine. Uh, unlike in uh, computer engineering jobs, you don't need to sit on the computers whole day. Uh, in civil projects, you can have uh, various locations of the project. Uh, even after a project, when you go to next project, the arrangements, locations, they will be different. So there won't be any a routine kind of job. Also, civil engineers are well respected in the society. Uh, when uh, people think of engineers, they either think of mechanical engineer or civil engineer in general. And the next thing is there will be a mix of both indoor and outdoor kind of uh, job responsibility. Uh, and unless and until you are purely a CAD software designer sitting on the decks working day and night you generally tend to have mix of uh, indoor and outdoor so that is again going to break the routine job and last but not the least civil engineers are well paid than other engineering uh, disciplines uh, in the US the pay is above average com uh, compared to other engineering disciplines so that's going to be a very uh, good prospect for any engineers who want to join civil engineering now, let's talk about cons of civil engineering. It's not that civil engineering don't have any disadvantages. There are. Uh, some of it might be uh, like uh, there is very small room for error uh, while in construction because once you construct a structure, it is very hard to demolish that structure and rebuild on that because it's going to cost huge so even the small error can be very costly and and for that you will be held responsible even if the error is in documentation in the drawings you may be held liable for that so you have to be very careful for more details about the cons of civil engineering uh, you may check civilblog.com the link is given in the video description below uh, you can check that uh, and please do like and subscribe our channel, the Sully Indigi site. Uh, keep watching our videos. Thank you.